let's solve some problems here. In an attempt to attract new clients, a bank is offering a new deal for all clients. So clients will receive a $30 bonus for opening a checking account. For opening a savings account, clients will get a $35 bonus. A $25 bonus will be received by clients who sign up for overdraft protection. What is the largest amount of bonus a new client can get? Now, to get the largest amount of bonus, the largest bonus amount that a client can receive is just the sum of all the possible bonuses here. So, let's do that. We add up all the bonuses here. It says that for opening a checking account, a client will receive $30. And then for savings account, $35. And for overdraft protection, clients would receive $25. So, we just add them up. $30 plus $35 plus $25. This is just equal to ninety dollars so our answer is letter b okay please choose one correct answer so we're given this series here and this given series here is similar to the fibonacci sequence but in this case, each number here equals the difference between the two preceding numbers. So let's say we have 42 here and 24. So 42 minus 24 is just equal to 18, this one. 24 minus 18 is equal to 6. And then 18 minus 6 is just equal to 12. So we need to find the number next to 12. So that would just be 6 minus 12. So this is just equal to negative 6. So the answer here is letter D. If 25% 20, of a number is 76, what is the number? So we let X be the number because the number is unknown. So it says here if 25%, so 25% of a number, so our number is x, is 76. So we're just writing this mathematical statement here into a mathematical equation, which is this one. And now we can solve for x, which is the number. And we can write 25% as 25 over 100 okay, times x equals 76. Or you can just reduce 25 over 100 as 0 0.25, whichever you uh, way you want. So we can divide both sides by 25 over 100. Okay. 25 over 100 on the left will be cancelled out. So we have x equals 76 over 25 over 100. This is just equal to 76 times 100 over 25. Because we just flip it. We flip the denominator and then change the division um, operator sign to multiplication. 100 over 25 is just equal to 4. So this is just 76 times 4. And 76 times 4 is just equal to 304. So our answer here is letter C. Two out of every five Canadians read at least 10 books a year. What percent of Canadians read at least 10 books a year? So it says here, two out of every five Canadians 
read at least 10 books a year. So when we write that into fraction, we can write that as 2 is to 5. And the question asked here is, what percent of Canadians read at least 10 books a year? So we just divide 2 by 5 and then multiply by 100%. So this is just equal to 0.4 times 100%. Therefore, this is just equal to 40%. So that is the percentage of Canadians who read at least 10 ye books a year. So the answer here is letter C. If the probability of an event happening is 7 over 8, what is the probability that it would not happen? In probability theory, one axiom states that the probability of the entire sample space is just equal to 1. Therefore, the probability of an event happening plus the probability that it would not happen is just equal to 1. In this case, we're given the probability of an event happening, so we just have to subtract um, the probability of an event happening from 1. So let's do that. Okay, so we have here the probability of an event happening plus the probability that an event would not happen is just equal to 1. So we're given here the probability of an event happening, which is equal to 7 over 8. So we just plug that in here 7 over 8 plus probability that an event would not happen okay is just equal to 1 minus 7 over 8 now what is 1 minus 7 over 8 so to solve this um subtracting whole number and a fraction we just have to get the LCD so our LCD here is 8 so we have 8 minus 7 over 8 so that is 1 over 8 therefore the probability that an event would not happen is just equal to 1 over 8 so our answer here is letter C Josie buys 2.4 kilograms of beads for $3.25 per kilogram. How much will her beads cost? To solve this, we just have to multiply the number of kilograms Josie buys and the cost per kilogram. So that would be 2.4 kilograms times 3.25 dollars per kilogram per one kilogram so our answer here would be 7.8 dollars so the answer here is letter d 